Something on your mind? Oh, God. Oh, sh dude. No, we don't need to be making spider mines. St don't make spider mines. Oh, God. It's a table? Yeah, it's a table now. Before you know it, it's gonna be burrowing in your backyard. You walk to your car, guess what? You're dead now. Horrible. Sign, horrible. Sign of Proto's youth in my neighborhood. <laughs> That's beautiful. New Disney character? Such a pretty bird. That's very pretty. <laughs> I saw this one the other day. It's so good. Starcraft according to Harstam. Normies. That's a weird opener. I'm not even sure this is a build. I've never seen this before in my entire life. This will delay the push by 2.34 seconds. He's super uber dead. That's a good opening. That's a build and a half. That's a bad build. It's like in that episode of Spongebob that I never saw, but I know that the meme because Alexi Leonov was the first to walk in space, and a friend of mine mentioned that he more rambling. So sorry, my friends, but in comparison, American food truly is really bad, as bad as this build. <laughs> it's very true. He does go off on a uh, couple of rambles here and there. That's a mind game. He would have reacted if he had known, no? I, I like I like this, this meme format. It's good. Brute War, according to our... It's good. Brute War according to Artosis. Terran tank lines are annoying to bust. He just sits there. You can't take it easy against Terran. I let him get to Defiler Tech. It's over. Such a talent. You're such a talent. You think you're good? You made five songs and you win. Do you honestly think you beat me? Guy in the chat, you're a f moron. Please point to me where you think I could have taken a third slash harass slash punished him. Seriously? Find in the replay the exact time that I could have done that without losing. Ay, ay, ay. Sometimes I feel like I am mean to guys in the chat, but... I made this meme. Okay, we're gonna raid your meme, Echo Soldier. I made this meme. Okay, we're gonna raid your meme, Echo Soldier. I made this meme. Okay, we're gonna raid your meme, Echo Soldier. You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. Could you have JPEGed it harder? Because I can almost count the pixels. Uh, let me see. Pixels. Uh, let me see. Did this prompt the announcement? There it is. I have successfully pinked all of the people on Discord. You should definitely join the Discord, by the way. I have this weird bug on Discord, guys. Has anyone figured out a solution for this? So for some reason, I only see my own nickname as L dot dot dot. I just see my own, I don't know why. I can change the width of the window. I can change the font size. I can change it to cozy instead of like whatever it's called. Um, but for some reason, this is my you. So, I see the same thing right here for Nim. We figured out a solution for this. I just see my own dot dot. So for some reason, I only see my own nickname as L dot dot dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot. Dot, dot, as L, dot, dot, dot. I just see my own, it, I don't know why. I can change the width of. I just see my own, it, I don't know why. I can change the width of the window, I can change the font size, I can change it to cozy instead of like, whatever it's called. Um, but for some reason, this is my you- Cool. But for some reason, this is my you- So, 
I see the same thing right here for ne Nemesis. Which is also really weird. I thought maybe initially it has to do with like the amount of characters, but I don't think that's the case because, well, Nuke Official is longer than Loco TV, right? You have the memes channel turned off, Loco? I have, yeah, no, I don't really have a lot of notifications. Let's see, I'll scroll all the way down. Any cheese can be Swiss cheese when you own a drill press. Yeah, see, this is why I have that channel muted. But I do check in most days. You can see, you can see both of our nicknames fully, Bobo? You see my full name as well? That is very strange. So I changed the font size, I changed all of the settings. I checked everything. If I... No, that doesn't do anything. You see my full name as well? But that, that little purple bar was just there because I'm currently streaming, which is kind of convenient actually. Um, but even when I'm off stream, I still do not see my full nickname. You can see my full name as well. What, what, a, what a weird situation. Yeah, so LRS does see my full name. So, a couple days ago, I want to say uh, five days ago, six days ago, I think that's when it started happening. I got the at loco TV tag on Discord. So I used to, like, they've changed the way that Discord usernames work. And I reserved at loco TV. So it's no longer like the hashtag and then a bunch of numbers. And I think that kind of, <laughs> you, you rickrolled the whole stream. You did it, memory. Well done. Control R. Okay, I hit Control R on Discord. I had no idea that Control R on Discord did anything, but it did re reload Discord, and the problem is still there. <laughs> Alt F4. I'll try that out later, buddy. Thank you very much. That's very useful. Very strange. I have no idea why I'm the only one seeing that, but it's, it's okay. I will now be known as L. This is now my new nickname. Try restarting Discord. I mean, it's not just today. I think I saw the same thing on my laptop as well. Unless I'm mistaken, I would actually have to check. What about my phone? Hold up, let me log into Discord on my phone. If it's also on my phone, it's definitely on Discord's end. See, I'm an IT professional, man. I'm learning. Uh, let's see. It's got my full name. Ah, ah, dang it. Okay. I will have to check my laptop, I guess. Have I tried using the browser? Using the browser version of Discord? Ooh, ew. I hate everything about that idea. No, I've not tried the browser. Are you insane? I figured out you need to go to your role settings on Discord. Oh no. Nah, we should not be doing that, Thort. Last time around, I messed around with the, uh, the, the, the role settings. I accidentally gave everybody admin. I am not gonna touch that. I have already mentioned this several times before on stream. So I'm not gonna give you the full story again. But I want to say probably in like 2018 or so, Discord introduced this server owner crown. Discord introduced this. Discord introduced this server owner crown, and I wanted to have the server owner crown. So they had like this thing because my ego, you know, is that high. I need the server, and I wanted to have the server owner crown. And I wanted to have the server owner crown. So they had like this thing, because my ego, you know. So they had like, the server owner crown. So they had like this thing, because. So they had like this thing, because my ego. Ego, you know, this thing, because my ego, you know, is that high. I need the server on a crown. It's clearly very important. Um, so <laughs> I don't know. I I had to jump. Important. So <laughs> I don't know. I I had to jump into the settings, the role settings, and you had to toggle something on and off with the administrator setting, but it didn't work. So after ten minutes, I was like, okay, trial and error. It is. Then I want to say five minutes. After that, Nuke sent me a message. He's like, hey, there's people talking in the, you know, moderator-only channel. What's going on? Like, why 
you know, why are why are people talking in a mod chat? And uh, it turns out I had literally given everybody administrator privileges on the Discord server. Uh, luckily, Nuke was online. Otherwise, I probably would not have noticed um, for quite a while. Well, I gave everybody admin for a little bit. Um, and I didn't get the crown. I did not get the crown until uh, a couple days later. But my ego was very high at that moment. I, I will have you know. Yeah, very important to have the server own a crown. <laughs> I have since, since that uh, one moment, I have not done anything as far as the Discord server settings go. Literally, all of that is handled by Nuke Official. I know Nuke is not necessarily on every stream on the, you know, in the chat, but Nuke is still... He's making sure it works behind the scenes. So shout out to Nuke. <sighs> yeah, Nuke, uh, the real giga... <sighs> yeah, Nuke, uh, the real giga chat. Nuke? Yeah, Nuke, uh, the real giga chat. Thank God for unpaid interns. Nuke's also been running actually all of the tournaments, the viewer tournaments that we've been doing. I have been paying Nuke for that, okay, for what it's worth, Grimly. Does that count? I don't know if that counts. But yeah, I do have some amazing mods on the channel. True Giga Chat. That counts? Nuke is top five? Yeah, Nuke is in your, your top five favorite moderators. I have like seven. I have like seven mods. <laughs> Let's see. You can type slash mods on the channel, I think. I think you guys can see the same thing. Andy HD, Kristoff, Drone Rush, D the Hunter, Echo Steel. Oh, I can remove Ember Lab because that was from ages ago. Uh, I'm gonna remove them. Fourth Wall, which is a bot. Lathrinus, Locobot, also a bot, MC Morgan Mantle, Motlesis. We can definitely unmod Motlesis, yeah. Rekian, Nuke Official, Mugetsu Gabriel. Who the f is that? And then Wayman. And Rushi. Yeah, no, we're okay. We're okay. A whole army of mods. Actually, we don't have that many moderators on this channel. I think compared to many other streams out there, we we don't really have a lot of mods. No. What's up, Ryan? Thank you. Who's that Mugetsu guy? I don't know, dude. We, we don't really have a lot of mods. No. Who's that Mugetsu guy? I don't know, dude. What's up, Ryan? Thank you for the 63 months. Hope you're doing well. Thank you also, Hex Active, for the 10 month resub. Oh, okay. You say the word nuke four times. Oh, okay. You say the word nuke four times and he appears. Is this how it goes? If you whisper nuke in front of a mirror in the middle of the night, he might just appear, chat. Very quietly, if you go, nuke, 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 he's probably behind you. I very quietly, if you go, quietly, if you go, nuke, 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 he nuke, 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 he's probably behind you. Nuke, 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 he's probably behind you. Quietly, if you go, nuke, nuke. He's probably behind you. I've seen that in a movie once. Very dangerous. No, I was just mentioning, Nuke, that everybody had admin privileges at some point. Not my smartest move. Tomorrow's Saturday, so it's probably gonna be a 12, 13 hour plus stream move. I love this community. Very, uh, very rarely do you see douchebags. True. Yeah, actually, actually true, man. Oh, I wasn't supposed to read that message. Oh, okay, you just tired. I'm gonna go ahead and unbend everybody again. I haven't unbent all in a couple weeks. Bags? True. So it's probably gonna be a 12, 13 hour plus stream. I love this community. Very, very rarely do you see douchebags. True. Yeah, actually, actually true, man. Oh, I wasn't supposed to read that message. Oh, okay, you're just typing in the wrong chat. Fair enough. I'm gonna go ahead and unbend everybody again. I haven't unbend all in a couple weeks. Maybe a couple months even. All the moderator hard work. We're gonna let it go to waste. Slash unban all. There's one user bent. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh yeah, I bent Poe. I bent Poe because he was being very annoying to me, man. But fine, fine. Man. But fine, fine. We will... We well, uh, we believe in second chances on this. Actually, I think that's like the seventh chance, but fair enough. We we believe in it. We'll be okay. Anti-diarrhea is unbanned. He was on the stream yesterday. I asked him if Balrogs lay eggs, and he's like, I don't have time for this, and he left. 
Actually, no, I think this was two days ago. Or maybe three days. Anyways, it was earlier this week. I, uh, yeah, that was <laughs> some character de development going on there as well. Luckily for my own ego, have I ever been banned or timed out? Let's see, Grimdy. You have been timed out four times. And you also have two mod comments. What are your moderator comments? Always sus, kind of sus, to be honest. Okay, those are good mod comments, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Those are, yeah, those are pretty good. He's always a bit suspicious, that's for sure. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> Spam this giraffe to find out if giraffes lay eggs. Ace Gamer also has a mod comment. Accidentally banned. Oh, did I accidentally press the ban button? That doesn't sound like something I would do. <clears throat> Look at that day's gamer. <clears throat> Look at that day's gamer. Oh shit, I bent him twice for one minute. Yikes, dude. Sorry about that. He does have 35 timeouts. Yeah, it's all it's all gape. Gape, lay threeness. Wayman, gape, lay threeness. Gape, gape, gape. Gape timed out ace gamer for one second. Low spray. Timed out Ace Gamer for a second. Horny. Yeah, these probably are all... You can basically count whenever Ace Gamer has had a... Uh... Anyways. <laughs> if you've never been banned, you're not trying hard enough. Have you been banned, Nepper? Or, uh, Buddy Warren? I don't know. I know Hard Nepper has got a... No, you've got one ban. I banned you... Oh, yeah, no, I did ban you on accident. I don't know what I did. I banned you on accident as well, Bunny, at some point. You have got... One band that lasted less than a minute. Twelve timeouts, though. Whoa, Gabe at some point timed you out for ten minutes. Gabe never does ten-minute timeouts. Gabe hates you, man. Confirmed, yeah. Gabe, why do you hate Bunny? You guys need to go talk it out. For what it's worth, also my moderators have bands and timeouts. Nuke apparently has seven bands. For that sweet what is going on, Zethria? Take my money for that sweet, sweet Twitch Turbo. Mate, do we want to talk about the Twitch Turbo situation? Thank you, Zeth, for the 26 months, by the way. Twitch yesterday increased the prices of Twitch Turbo, which is kind of like YouTube Premium, but worse. Anyways, they increased the price. Yo, May Alec. I get a ban PLS? No, you gotta earn those, man. I'm sorry. You gotta be a douchebag first. I apologize. It used to cost £7.20 in the UK, €8.29 in the Netherlands, and now they've made it eleven ninety nine, and eleven ninety nine. This is some nutty sh**, man. Literally, like, that's about a 45% improvement or so in the Netherlands, and a, a, over a 50% increase in price. For absolutely no added benefits. That's pretty insane, man. They, um... Yeah, they did some regional pricing, apparently, on some of this stuff. Everybody knows they use uh, uh, US dollars in both Turkey as well as Ukraine. I, I don't know, man. This is, it's all, it's all... <laughs> Pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. What's going on, Icon? Thank you for the 28. Welcome back. I did double check my math, actually. No, before I tweeted this out, I was like, you know what? I gotta double check my math. I was like, no, I can look at this, I can eyeball it, but I did double check my math just in case. Because I knew somebody was gonna call me out on it if I got it wrong, but nobody called me out on it, so I'm fairly sure it's right. No, I did do the math. I think it was like 54% or something for the UK. So literally 54% more expensive for no added benefit. Like, no added features. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Twitch, uh... Twitch. <laughs> I don't really want to go down the negative spiral discussing Twitch again, but uh, they they make some they make some decisions that I don't fully agree with. Let's leave it at that. Um, one good thing though about Twitch. Hey, thank you, Wildcat, gifting five community subs. Hell yeah, I appreciate you. I don't know if this was Twitch or if this was uh, was was Diablo, uh, but I. Hey, thank you, Wildcat. One good thing though about Twitch. I don't know if this was Twitch or if this was. Uh, uh, was was Diablo, uh, but I did get a notification that drops for Diablo 4 will be enabled on my channel. So this is always pretty cool as a streamer, so you can get like, which is pretty cool, but I th that's cool. That's one of the things. Yeah, you do have to link your account and all that. Yeah. The Netherlands is still number one and yes, dude. Hold 
that, yeah. The Netherlands is still number one and Yes, dude! Let's go, man! The Netherlands. Let's have a look. Prices when it comes to petrol. Oh, let's go, boys. This is when it comes to petrol. Oh, let's go, boys. Netherlands number one. Most to petrol. Oh, let's go, boys. Netherlands number one. Most expensive petrol in the... Well, no, in Europe, actually. In probably the world, though. Netherlands number one, baby. Let's go. Hype. Get wrecked, Belgium. Sweden number 12. Yeah. Germany number six. Just ride bicycles, loco. Actually, it's not that expensive right now. I don't think this is that accurate, to be honest. I think what they do for these sort of lists is they... Like, we have tons and tons and tons of petrations on the side of the highway, right? But, like, I always see people lining up, but I don't know who's go... I, I, no, nobody I know gets, you know, petrol... Other than when they're traveling or something, and they don't know the area. But, like, they probably just take the average for the entire country. I think an average probably, like, 175-ish, maybe, right now? For, like, reasonable prices? Something like that. <laughs> You're happy that LRS also doesn't have a driver's license? There you go. You know one gas station on the highway that's actually cheap? Yeah, but interestingly enough, gas stations in the Netherlands, on the highway, there's always a lot of people that are getting their gas there. I'm not sure... Why? Maybe it's, like, people that get their, their, their work or something, like, their job to, like, expense the gas or something. I don't know. It just seems a bit funky. Yeah, maybe it's, like, a lease car and it's all just uh yeah it's all just uh yeah i tried eating at Torin marines more once let's just say it was the weirdest supply block i've ever experienced <laughs> Let's keep the check clean and respectful. Oak. <laughs> what was that? Uh, we're really working on the execution of this. I I feel like I feel like there's gonna be a text to speech meta. Where right now we're you know we're in the experimental phase, right? This isn't really true art yet. Everybody's got their crayons out. We all have our pieces of paper, but Michelangelo has yet to show up. This is the experimental phase, exactly. And that's an important phase, don't get me wrong. So I do definitely appreciate you, Ace Gamer, but there's there's some nuance here that has to be, uh... You can't just make the David, you know? You don't just sculpt a work of art if you have no rails out. Now we're, you know, we're in the expression of this. Experimental phase, exactly. And so I do definitely appreciate you, Ace Gamer, but there's, there's some nuance here that has to be, uh... You can't just make the David, you know? You don't just sculpt a work of art if you have no experience. That was the most ayaya thing I've ever heard. Okay, yeah, like this, for example. Experiments. That's beautiful. Yeah. Like, you can already hear some of the brilliance that is, well, ultimately going to grow into the greatest text of speech we've ever heard. I think it's very obvious that there's, uh, yeah, there's some geniuses here. Yeah. Michelangelo, Beethoven, Mozart, they would be experimenting in much of the same way as you guys are right now. I think that's beautiful. You bastards have my YouTube suggestions filled with VTubers. <laughs> you click the links on Discord, Leifrinus? That one's on you, man. If you click game in much of the same way as you guys are right now. I think that's beautiful. You bastards have my YouTube suggestions filled with VTubers. <laughs> you, you click the links on Discord, Leifrinus? That one's on you, man. If you click Gabe's links, yeah. Now suddenly everything you see is just womp 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 womp. You know what? I know this because I also watched one Shy Lily video. And suddenly my entire feed was just Shy Lily recommendations. <sighs> Shy Lily says something in angry German or whatever the fuck I watched. I don't know what I watched. She was saying something about cats in German. Oh, wrong button. There you go. 
It sounds weep, Loco. Oh, no, not, not at all. Not at all. Don't click any links on Discord. Don't Google unknown words. Gabe is a man of culture. He knows what's up. Only the highest quality YouTube links get shared by Mugetsu Gabriel. See? Here it is. Shy Lily when Kobo starts speak German angrily. Oh, you're Germany! Start the bird and Oh, my heart. How to say, I want to pet a cat. You say, wait, wait, I'll, I'll, I'll type Please it. Please type it. Can I den Katze streichen? So cute. That sounds like an innuendo, no? Germans of the stream? I I really I really feel. Why do they sound like? F yeah, I don't I don't really understand it either, brutal boy. I feel like this is my first sign, and I noticed this like two years ago that I'm getting old because I'm looking at this, I'm listening to this, and I'm like. <sighs> I don't quite. It's it, it's a bit disturbing to me. Yeah. How to say? Can ich deine Katze streichen? Can ich deine Katze streichen? Streichen. 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 Yeah. I I yeah yeah no I can kind of see it but I. She speaks German fluently. She probably does. Kobo, Kaniru, and Shy Lily. Oh my god, she's got 2 million YouTube subs? Okay, I gotta learn how to do What? She has like 5 videos! That's it? Oh wait, no, there's 311. Where's the rest of them? Are they shorts? Oh, they're all- Oh no. Oh no. What about Lily? I'm 46. Oh, she streams- Mate, I don't even get the titles of these streams. What am I looking at? Is this- But she was speaking German, no? Oh, she's Indonesian? Wait, wasn't she the one speaking German in that video? Maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, okay. Oh, Lily is German. But doesn't Lily live in the Netherlands? Oh, I misunderstood. Okay, okay. I got it all backwards. She's not fluent German? Okay. Shy Lily is Dutch. Her grandma is German. I see, I see. She lives in the Netherlands. Ah, all right, all right. She speaks pretty good German then. She's not so shy on other websites. Okay. Is she your neighbor? Could be, dude. I have no idea. That would be sick. <sighs> I mean, all of the Dutch streamers and YouTubers live in the same apartment building. Did you guys know that? Yep. Harstam, Euthermal, me, Grubby, Arati, all of us. Same apartment building. If I jump up and down on this floor, Harstam is gonna get really angry. Yeah, that's really cool, right? If I jump up and down on this floor, Harstam is gonna get really angry. Yeah, that's really cool, right? It's also a complete lie. <laughs> That's really mad. I, wait, you believe what I say? Man, people believe whatever I say sometimes. I'm sorry, I lied to you. I feel bad. Not really, actually. I feel a little bad for just a second, but then I realized, eh, I feel like I was pretty obvious. How can we ever trust you again? I know, I'm gonna have to make an apology video. Someone find me a sad background track for my apology video. I'll practice my sigh at the start of the video. <sighs> Guys, it's come to my attention. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, right? That's what people do. Yeah, I get like a violin in the background. <laughs> apology videos. Guys, I've been making videos since 2008. I have never made an apology video before. Am I even a real YouTuber? Oh man, it's been a long time. I should apologize for my lack of apology videos. That's a good point. I never considered that. Thank you, Quizzler. Stream for a while. I've missed the chill vibes. Thank Happy you, dude. To catch the stream again less than three. Thank you very much. Glad you still enjoy. Well, you didn't say that, but... <laughs> I'm gonna just pretend that you did. Thank you. Do you think people on the Battle.net forums are talking about this build? It always seems to me that the Battle.net forums are very Terran. What? They're probably losing their m Lost the Battle Cruise. He lost a battle cruiser and 12 Hellions, but the game went- Oh, it's that barcode guy again. This is the- Mate, your build is- Do I need to read any more? Your build's trash. I'm gonna- Somebody dig this up. There's 3.4k posts. Aaron needs to be punished for playing bad. This is definitely not- I think people- people have really played that much. But maybe. But maybe.
What? How was that a thing? Huh? Didn't I just kill it? Am I mistaken? Were there more? I don't know from my microbial shroud, guys. What happened to that stasis ward? We're gonna have to check the replay. Please remind me after this game. I feel like I sniped that stasis ward, but then it still went off. There must have been a second one. That would have been a banger fight otherwise. There's another stasis over. Hello? Ah. Bit funny. Don't know if it was great. But we did deal a lot of damage. He does have splash damage. Really? He's gonna die. He pressed Control Z. <laughs> this ability is called Microbial Shroud. For the new viewers in the game, this ability has been in the game for a long time, but nobody ever uses it. <laughs> what does it do again? Nobody knows. Oh, yeah, what happened with the Stasis Ward? I want to know what happened in the Congrats. Stasis Ward. What's up, Zork Heck? Michael Shroud reduces air t What's happened in the Congrats. Stasis Ward? What's up, Zork Heck? Thank you. Microbial Shroud reduces air to ground damage output by 50%. So carriers that attack units underneath the cloud on the ground have their damage output reduced by 50%, Funny fact which is a lot. 44, the word 100 comes from the Old Norse term. Hundredth, which actually means 120 and not 100. Really? I had no idea Zork... Uh, <laughs> well, I had no idea Zork hack either, but neither did I know that, Mark Duvus. Thank you. 44 months, appreciate you. Thank you, Zork for the 39, and then Passi as well, actually, with the 17 months. What happened to the big stasis ward over here? Appreciate you. What happened to the big stasis ward over here? Like, half my army got caught in a stasis ward? He must have had two. That's the only thing that makes sense, but I only saw one, but there probably were two, literally right next to each other. Either that, or I didn't actually kill it? If you have too much gas, try avoid foods like beans and lentils. No, no, no. I, I, well, actually, we probably, there's not gonna be a lot of guys in the chat that eat enough beans and lentils, okay? I don't think that's a problem for the majority of StarCraft fans. Um, also, as a StarCraft player, um, also, Also, as a StarCraft player, never enough Vespian, dude. Never enough. I also like beans, but I don't eat nearly enough of them, guys. Maybe I have to become a proper British guy and get beans on toast or something. Never enough. I also like beans, but I don't eat nearly enough of them, guys. Maybe I have to become a proper British. Really? I swore I saw it die. Train low pong heat blast. I saw this. I targeted it. Asked on those carriers. I thought I killed it. I swore I killed it. If this was like the final question in you know one of those millionaire shows. This is question 69. I would have definitely said yes, the stasis ward was dead. I feel like I saw it die. 11 minutes into this game. I think I self the situation quite- Man, look at that nerd. Are you guys looking at that nerd? He's got a very shiny forehead. That's not as shiny as it could be. Okay. What's the guy? What was the- No. What was the timer? Ah, uh, 11.30. Nice. Literally could have just watched. I feel like I sniped that stasis ward. I feel like I saw the animation of the stasis ward dying. Here it goes. Here it goes. There it is. I click it. It didn't actually die. I click it.
Click it. <gasps> it didn't actually die. I saw the little thingamajigs on the floor. So when it goes into stealth... <laughs> look at my face. I don't think my face is that... Like, I, I don't know, for some reason my expression seems so obvious when I'm watching them back, but it doesn't feel like that to me. <laughs> I even do... <gasps> like a... I even do huh? like a f idiot. Look, that was a good game. You played better than the opponent. I feel like I play better than most Skytos opponents, Von Rufio, but I don't win them. <laughs> Actually, true. Feel like I, I play much better than uh, yeah uh, the average Skytos enjoyer, but I actually think Hydra Ultra. And f I'm gonna have to play it more, but I think in the new patch it's, it's probably a little bit better. Golem game when? My God better golem game when my god they have released a golem game chat for lord of the rings many of you have probably course of the last week how many people do you think have probably heard of it it is probably the worst release title that i've ever seen like you guys have seen me play a lot of really games from big studios um let me try and see if i can find uh, um, let me try and see if I can find uh, the Steam find and see if I can find uh, the Steam charge for this. So this is a game that was worked on for a long time. They announced it years ago. Uh, here we go. So it was it was released last week, 115 years ago. Here we go. So it was it was released last week, 159 players right now. All-time peak of 758 players. So that means that 758 players were playing the game at the same time. $50. Imagine having the rights to make a Lord of the Rings game and f***ing up this hard. Oh. oh, yeah, no, StarCraft has way more people than 700 playing right now, dude. It's, it's, it's honestly embarrassingly bad. No, 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 I am not gonna play this game. No, 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 no. I mean, I am interested to play it just because of the meme, but I am not planning on actually playing it. Yeah, for the meme, it would be kind of fun, I guess. Mostly negative on the reviews. It's kind of nuts though, dude, because like, if 700 people are playing it, at the absolute most, like if in the release, it's bad on console as well. 834,000 views. I'm ready. Let's have a look. This is an I Apparently the reviews of the Lord of the Rings Golem are not great, guys. Let's have a look. This is an IGN video with a re Okay. 834,000 views. I'm ready. We can't find it. The precious is gone. We swear. Whether it's a book, a movie, or a video game, creative- It already kind of gave me Sonic vibes. Remember that release for Sonic that they had a couple years? Oh my god. ...works generally exist for a reason. Sometimes it's to delight, by entertaining with moving stories or fun gameplay. Other times it's to inform, by exposing the audience to different perspectives. Or it makes you think, with interesting ideas that challenge you to consider or reflect. The Lord of the Rings Gollum, however, is a game that does none of these things. <laughs> What if he watches us, the Dark Lord? What if he sees? Instead, it thrusts you into the role of the titular character without doing anything meaningful with his defining internal conflict and sends him on a series of missions that are neither fun to play nor interesting to experience. <laughs> the one question it poses is, why would someone want to play this? I crave disappointment. <laughs> okay. I haven't watched an IGN review in a while, because game reviews in general, I always think they're kind of shaky. But I'm already, I'm already a fan. I don't know who, who did this review. Does it say his name somewhere? No, it doesn't say it. Oh yeah, no, here it is. Justin Chorus. Alright, Justin. Justin has no chill. I'm a fan. Dude, his eyes look so cursed though. His voice is also not by Andy. No, it's um... <sighs> 
playing as Gollum sounded like it might have been a decent pitch for a game, since he's one of the more interesting and famous characters Why? In what is What is so cursed about him? Like, they used CGI Why when the, the, the Lord of the Rings movies came out, right? When was this? Like, 2006 or something? Maybe even earlier than that. 2001, maybe? Why Why does he look worse than when the game first Colin released? Sounded or, like sorry, the movie... <laughs> The movie version. He's got hair! Yeah, he's- oh my god, he's got hair! It might have been a decent pitch for a game, since he's one of the more interesting and famous characters in J.R.R. Tolkien's fantasy universe. He and Smeagol are two sides of the same coin. The good person that was Smeagol was tragically corrupted by the One Ring, twisted into this pathetic creature. It's his clammy, bare feet that you step into, ostensibly with the goal of regaining possession of the ring from Bilbo Baggins. However, most of your time is spent experiencing Gollum's life as a prisoner during the years between The Hobbit and The Fellowship of the Ring in a linear, story-driven series of levels. Prison Simulator Mordor- See, the problem is, right? Everybody knows the premise of this game, and that Smeagol's quest is going to fail. So, it's all about the journey, right? It's all about the journey of trying to get to where he wants to go, but the journey's not interesting? Sorry. Yeah, sorry, spoiler alert. He doesn't get the one ring. Mission is sadly less interesting than it sounds. Instead of a grand Lord of the Rings adventure, you are stuck collecting bits and baubles for forgettable NPCs and hiding in bushes from monotonous guard patrols. I'll just call you ugly. There are generally three parts to any level, ranging from uninteresting to just plain bad. There's the chores phase, in which Gollum goes from one waypoint to another to complete some menial task. There's always some conceptually different scenario, like crawling through small openings to detonate these explosives, but functionally they're all a series of marches across the same areas over and over again. It never feels like there's any point to it, just busy work. It could be fun to run around with Gollum thanks to his surprising sprint speed, but he has a stamina meter that depletes in just a few seconds and takes far longer to replenish. Trying to get anywhere involves too little speed, too much waiting, it's so empty. and an unfortunate amount of hearing Gollum choking on his own breath. <laughs> The platforming phases are more compelling, that's, but still that's one way you could call that. Yeah. Still poorly designed. Spacious rooms with handles to climb, walls to run, and leaps to take bring a faster pace of action, but the loose and floaty way Gollum moves and the imprecise controls make it feel like something from the PlayStation 2 era. Having experienced a modern Assassin's Creed or Tomb Raider game, it feels far too easy to jump toward the correct point and still fall to your death because you drifted <laughs> to one side or missed the part oh, of the ledge no. that has the white line that establishes exactly where you can grab. The paths are rigidly defined and often involve blind jumps or best guesses at what the next intended oh, handle is. Oh, dude, this looks like a nightmare for someone like me in particular, man. I am already allergic to this type of gameplay. You guys have seen me get so triggered, even in good games like God of War and what this would, this would... Rather than a thoughtful throwback, it comes across as outdated. A poor facsimile of classics like the Prince of Persia series. Finally, there are the stealth segments, which are simply bad. Anytime Gollum needs <laughs> Wait, to Wait, go so far it's been good? You've been calling them chores. You've been using word like repeatedly. From point A to B undetected, it's going to be a slog. Enemies have extremely limited patrol patterns, are terrible. I understand why they made it. It's really fun. But, like, for obvious reasons, Golem doesn't really get any power spikes, right? Like, in Prince of Persia, at some point, you find new weapons and you feel like you're an absolute god. But in these type of games, you just basically... There's... <laughs> He's just climbing. Maybe if they would have gone full puzzle game or something, it could be interesting, but I just... It really does look like a game from 2006. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, it could have been a cool story game, exactly. <sighs> it's like, it's it's like a mix, but it's not even Gollum, though. It's like a mix between Gollum and, and Dobby from Harry Potter. Like, the big eyes really confuse me. There were some banger games in 2006.
But I mean, yeah, Dobbin. Golly. <laughs> Insane. Imagine, though, having the rights to making Lord of the Rings games and then releasing this. That is kind of nuts. Thank you, by the way. Because uh, some of the American cheese chefs are... Thank you, by the way. Because uh, some of the American Cheese Chef Society, why would he do that? Maybe he was fishing for a recipe. Link. A recipe. Oh, God. You chose the one with the nastiest picture as well, man. What is. <laughs> God. Can we look at that thing? <laughs> Jesus. That looks so. Jesus. That looks so. F that looks so nasty. I'm sorry. Maybe apple pie with cheese is really good, but I just. I, I don't want to, man. Yo! Okay, well then. Thank you for uh, in a while. Hope you're doing well, dude. I don't know, guy. Demonic dumbass. I need your opinion. Apple pie. I don't know. Butter. Okay, okay. It tastes good. I'm sure. As an American, I can confirm that cheese is not always great. What? <laughs> God, how did it not melt? How is this possible? I have made apple pies before, dude. They come out boiling. Like, they're like sizzling like crazy. Yeah, but American cheese smell like, it, it melts really well. No, it does melt really well. Maybe this is a different type of cheese? Okay, I don't know. Cheddar and Swiss are the common pie cheeses? Oh no. We did have a discussion over shower beer, yes. I remember shower beer. Oh no. Did have a discussion over shower beer, yes. I remember shower beer very well. Oh no. What did you just link? Shower food review? Chicago deep dish pizza? Went on a date yesterday. She asked what I do in my free time. The night ended early. Christian is a two. Shower food. <laughs> is that their multi. This guy is out there multitasking his dinner. As well as his showering. That's amazing. Ladies, this man sounds like a catch. At Gaspocho Caspacho Machine on Twitter. I have never had a deep dish pizza, no. Yeah, deep dish pizza deep dish pizza. Uh, it it I don't know. It's probably really tasty, because all the ingredients are really tasty, but it just seems a little little much. Yeah, it's I don't know what it is. I guess it's uh Italians would not consider it a pizza, that's for sure. It kind of looks more like a lasagna. But this does look really good, yes. I mean, it's basically a pasta shape with a bunch of pasta ingredients. Oh yeah, no, uh, I guess it's going to be quite a few calories. Does it tell me how many calories? One slice. Oh my god, what? One slice. 730 calories. Seven hundred and thirty calories. Damn. Okay, they're going hard. <laughs> That's gotta be a really good slice, man. Two slices and I'm done. Do you normally share it? Please tell me you normally share a Chicago deep dish pizza. I don't. I don't think people would just get one each. No. It sounds like a food you'd share. Some people do. Yeah. Sure, loco. No. The sh the shower guy sure didn't. Okay. What did she just link? Oh no. Okay. The shower guy sure didn't. Gabe, what did you just link? Oh no. Gabe linked something in the chat. Twitch streamer and artist proves he has 12 fingers? Ha! The f uh, count? Okay. What if, what if this person just happens to be absolutely amazing at rock climbing? Right? And they wanted to participate in tournaments and all that. Would this be... Seems like an unfair advantage to be. What if I get a sixth finger implant? Would that be a problem? That would be an issue. Yeah, what if she wants to be a StarCraft player? Genuinely, though. Six fingers, if you have full control over them, which she seems to have? That'd be pretty amazing. I don't know if it's superior to have multiple fingers, though. 
Like I just <laughs> I don't know if fingers is better than than the <laughs> I don't know if six is better than five. <laughs> Probably. Extra grip strength? I mean your pinky is one of the major reasons why humans have grip strength. Like try deadlifting without using your pinky. See how it goes. Adam no! I wonder if her grip strength is actually sick. It could be really sick. You never th thought about that? Oh yeah, if you have force deadlifting or grip in general, it's gonna be much harder. I always kind of thought the pinky wasn't important, wasn't wasn't that important, but are we just gonna rinse and repeat this over and over and over again? Is that the plan right now for Mr. Terran man? He's probably seen me move around. He's like, yo, this guy is definitely gonna fuck up. <laughs> I fuck up. I'm gonna fuck. Up. I'm definitely gonna fuck up. Up. Fuck up. I'm only gonna f up. <laughs> I should be able to get this at some point. Yeah, you know what? You may be right. I did it, Mom! Mom, get the camera! I won a game! Nobody wins against Loco 12 times in a row! <laughs> 11 times, that's where I draw the limit, damn it! Yeah! The winning link, there he so is, man. Right people. There was, was a ship that put to see the name of that ship was the Billy of Two Winds Blue Heart about it down blow me. Billy Boys blows him and the Willerman comes to bring us to good and tea and rum one day when the tongue on his dome will take a leave and guess she had not been two weeks from showing down on her. A right well where the captain called the length. Once did, more he take the well you... and tell so made the Willerman come. <laughs> did you put an accidental zero too many, Uzi? If so, I have no way to refund it, but Ace with a 900 bits that's incredibly generous. Uzi just dropped 100 subs. Gee, man, that's insane. There it is. Uzi's notification didn't show. Wait, 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 wait. Did it show? Oh, it, it did? I just didn't notice it? Okay. Hey, uh, thank you very much, Uzi. Thank you, Sure Darky, with 10 gifted subs. It broke the bot? Yeah, local bot's not made with this in mind, guys. Hey, Uzi, thank you guys. Hey, Uzi, thank you so much. You gave a thousand... You gave a thousand subs to another Twitch streamer the other day? Damn. Look at Twitch help you. Yeah. The FOMO train here. Everybody. I'm here to request from you to spam me. Every living crew out of the cell I train and bring Locker to New Haines. Locko? Does Obama say my name is Loco? That's... okay. It's such a big train. I have never seen one that big. Let's try and see how big we can make it, chat. Jesus Christ. No, Uzi! Uzi, what? I thought you put an actual zero or an accidental zero at the end of your previous one. Uzi is out there. Gee. Hey, thank you for the insane generosity, man. Yo, irrefutable. Gee, what the f We just reached the sub goal that we had on the A level 10 hype train? Jeez. Mo monthly rent is paid? Yeah, yeah. Genuinely. Jeez. Genuinely. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Genuinely. I should lose 11 games in a row more often. It's great for my sub goal. <laughs> I can bait out pity subs. That's what I can do, man. I'm gonna lose 12 games in a row next time. See how it goes. P pity subs. <laughs> Playing the long con. I think I already thanked Boom Banker Splat, it's but maybe birthday. I didn't. Happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> what the f? Happy birthday. <laughs> you for f 
<laughs> Type trends can kind of make you feel like a Maybe I should have a frowny smiley there instead. A frowny emoji. <sighs> Wins only, loses 11 in a row. I will update it to the cl yeah, yeah. That looks even dumber. Five stops. We need a low clown emote. <laughs> I would love a low clown. <laughs> low clown would be fantastic. Yeah, one million channel points. Nvidia is now a true CEO is on stage. Don turning in one million channel points. Loco, want to watch how cringe the Nvidia CEO stage? Loco, want to watch how cringe the Nvidia CEO is on stage? What is okay? What is, what is this? Nvidia is now a trillion dollar company, isn't it? Four elephants. <laughs> One GPU. Nvidia is slaughtering elephants to produce GPUs. Notice the beautiful lights. So many different lights, and all of the different lights are projecting light. None of that <laughs> conversation was scripted. Uh, yes, that that was apparent. Thank you, Jensen. Th thank you, Buddy Warren, gifting us up to Terran underpowered. Hold up right now. Or probably currently running at about two times. The demand for every single generation increased and increased and increased. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> I've seen this man for, you know, many years. Um, I've seen him give speeches that were really solid, or at least not that I, I you know. Sound effect. Are you guys with me? Hi, am I alone? I have a lot to tell you, very little time, so let's get going. I'm sorry I took so much time, so you're gonna have to... We'll like, go split. quick. It's 14 inch. It weighs almost nothing. Everything I'm showing today are very heavy. It weighs almost nothing. This is 60 pounds, 65 pounds. Even this is incredibly heavy. I wonder if this can play crisis. Yeah, you may be making fun of him, but you probably can't afford his leather jacket, though. That leather jacket is probably three grand. Yeah, he's balling out there, man. No, didn't Nvidia's valuation just go up to a trillion? I think they're now, uh, maybe they've dropped down again? I'm not exactly sure, but uh, it, it got pretty high. They did, right? Yeah. So, you know, maybe... Maybe the CEO is uh, giving some cringeworthy speeches, but... Seems to be doing a raw eye job. Yeah. He can probably buy two 4090s for that one letter jacket. Yeah. That's pretty nuts, dude. That just shows you how expensive that jacket is. Or the 4090. Or both. Actually, both are overpriced. Yeah. Nvidia's market cap is 950 billion? Oh, no. Did they drop down again, buddy? Embarrassing. Imagine being only worth 950 billion. Yeah, 948.78 billion right now. Gabe linked this. What was this? Oh, okay. See, that's how terrible it is. This video isn't available. Well, you know, we don't have to look at it. The Twitch CEO got interviewed by a VTuber. Thus, he's cooler than you. Who is the new Twitch CEO, actually? I don't even remember. I know Emmett left. Who's the current one? Found it? Oh. Fillion in... <laughs> oh, God. Fillion interviews the Twitch CEO? That's amazing. I think I've seen enough. We're up against a Terran called Dream. I mean, people were really hard on Facebook and their metaverse meeting screen, right? People were like, ha, look at Mark Zuckerberg. This is right. People were like, like ha people were like ha look at mark zuckerberg
Ryan Ice just subscribed. Let's go. Ryan Ice just subscribed. Let's go. Ryan Ice just subscribed. Let's go. This is where he's spending his money. What an idiot. But somehow this is fine. Nobody rose this. Interesting, guys. What if what if the metaverse could have a character that looks like you but with cat ears? That would make it much better. I agree. Somebody sent Mark a message. Do we lose the human ears? Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I haven't thought it through that much. Fun fact, human ears are near useless. Mine in particular, dude. My left ear, even more near useless than the average near useless ear. Low def? Yeah. Oh no. What is this? A clip of the... I saw no, this I thing yesterday. So this is the Twitch CEO, apparently, Dan Clancy. Hugging Finn. Who's a VTuber? Uh, yeah, sure, 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 let's do it. You know? Okay. okay. I've never had a hug from, from a virtual yeah, anime character. Yeah, yeah so a virtual anime, uh, anime girl? Okay, wait, wait, how do we yeah, do this? Yeah, Let me yeah, yeah. go for the one arm here. Oh, oh there we oh. go. Oh, 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 hey, oh, 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 I've never been hugged by, by a... No, that's sick. Wait, wait, anything you do, it, 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 it can happen in real life, because I'm effing real at this point. Like, you can Wonderful punch me in the face right now. Love, Fight me! Love, Fight love, me! Love, Fight love, me. Love. Wait, 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 wait. That is a little painful, though. <laughs> Loco, that last part was the best part. I was cringing a little. Okay, sure? fine, I'll watch it. Yeah, you can do it. I don't mind. Fight me! All right, what, you wouldn't. What the heck? There we you go. You wouldn't. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was good. That was good. That was good. You may not have interest right now, but each passing day you draw closer and closer until you will ironically get a VTuber model. See the bump in viewers, then you ironically become a VTuber a later. Time. It is inevitable. That seems like a lot of effort, dude. That's just what you're hoping for. It's okay, it's okay. The boy who lived. It's okay. The boy who lifted. God, I really do like that video. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> it's so stupid. That whole YouTube channel right now has all kinds of videos about all kinds of movie characters and whatnot lifting. I don't quite understand the memes behind it, but I do think it's kind of funny. We got a sequel as well. The Forbidden Weight. Oh no. Harry Spotter. Water, Harry. It's Using so the dumb. Rack on the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to die under the most painful weight. Your father was a twig spotter. Rotingo. Snape, don't hide from us. We will find you. Dad, there you are, Jim. <laughs> Look at his funny muscles. What do you see, Harry? It's me, squatting the forbidden weight. It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to squat. Hell yeah, dude! Do you train legs, Severus? Always. Listen, and last night I'm guessing Snake went to the Forbidden Corridor to squat the Forbidden Weight. That's why he's limping. Harry, <gasps> you can lift it too. That means he is your real father. We go tonight. This whole YouTube channel is just- I watched a couple of them, yeah. Heisenberg in the protein bar business? Yes. He's not a man. This is the purest protein bar in the world. <laughs> it's just so stupid. The whole concept of this channel is just so dumb. Oh, I do like it though. <laughs> this is the purest protein bar. <laughs> Sorry, I think it's really funny. It's probably not that funny, but I think it's funny. Shy Lily? Shy Lily is life? Every everybody's favorite, Shy Lily. She's playing Diablo 4? Okay, that's an excellent idea, chat. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend. Don't forget to smile.
<laughs> I'll see you once again on Monday. Shy Lilith. <laughs> Shy Lilith rate coming up, chat. I know there's a lot of VTubing connoisseurs in the chat. She's playing on the PlayStation or something? Oh no. Shy Lilith. Not on the gaming uh, computer. Hmm. How long has Lo How long has Low GF been subscribed? I don't even think she is subscribed right now, dude. What is her what is her Twitch nickname again? I think it's Low Girl underscore. I think I think she was very upset that one of you stole her nickname. Like somebody registered the ID Low Low Girl before she could. Oh no, she's a Oh yeah, no, she's got a permanent sub to the channel. One mod comment? The real Low GF? She only asked, see? Can you check on Toby? Can you reset? Can you check on Toby? Can you check on Toby? Can you reset the boiler? Can you open the door? Can you reset the boiler? Can you reset the boiler? Can you open the door? This is just a fucking... This is just a fucking mess. This is just a... Fucking this is just a messaging platform, man. She knows I don't respond to text messages, so this is more. It's faster. Yeah, our boiler, we've, we've got it fixed now, but it's still sometimes shut off. It's really weird, man. The boiler does this thing sometimes where it doesn't produce hot water. Right? So I go to the little device thing, and it's got one button, and the button says reset. But it, like, has a flashing right, a red light that it needs to be reset. So the device clearly knows that it needs to be reset. I just need to press the button. What fucking design is that? If it knows, it doesn't... If it knows, I just need to press the button. What fucking... 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 design is that? If it knows it doesn't work properly, why doesn't it auto-reset? I feel like this is not rocket science. Yeah, but there's an easier way to prevent it from just not looping. I guess it's probably some sort of fail-safe. Yeah, it probably needs to have that. It, it's probably a requirement by law, yeah. I guess I guess the government wants me to go check to make sure that, they, that the boiler didn't blow up, and now I'm allowed to press the reset button. <laughs> she triggered a rant and he's not even here now I, I i get it cleaned every i think every two years is what they advise so that's what i do it's actually insane man the people that lived here before me for like 10 years or 12 years some shit, they never had it cleaned a single time and the guy that came over the first day was like what the hell this thing is so nasty like apparently the whole system so we have like a like it's a heating system right for also for like the radiators and stuff apparently there was basically no water in the system at all so all of the radiators were essentially empty so by not having it cleaned and topped back off, these people were basically warming up air. They were warming up air rather than liquids, which uh, is a pretty inefficient way to warm up your house. Anyways, uh, maintenance. Yeah, it's a bad build order, a bad IRL build order. Whoever lived here before me, dude, they, they just assumed they could do anything themselves. Like everything that could possibly be done, they would do it themselves. Uh, you can tell. You, you can tell from me. It's not my favorite. When I first bought this house, says Bunny, the old, old owner were replied, when, or, oh, you asked when was the boiler last serviced? And they replied, not in the last eight years we've lived here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude, when we first moved in here, the fucking, like, Yeah, yeah, dude, when we first moved in here, the fucking... Better in here, the fucking... fucking... Like, radiators were gurgling and stuff. They were like, they make all kinds of noises. Radiators aren't supposed to gurgle, man. No, 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 no. There's many things I learned while uh, living here, man. I never anticipated needing to know that.
Radiator boiler? Is this some kind of joke? I'm too tropical to understand. Yeah, yeah. Some people live in cold climates, Yugian. Where they actually need to heat up their home because otherwise they literally die. Yeah, you would you would you know literally yeah, it would not be so some people choose to get like an RTX 4090 to heat up their home. Some people have radiators instead. There's an F-150 Super Duty? What does a Super Duty look like? There's an F-150 of radiators instead. There's an F-150 Super Duty? What is a Super Duty? It's a difference. An F-150 It's got a different headlight, different type. It's a bit tall, different suspension, different motor. Oh, we found out about an F-650 the other day, righteous? X50 is where it's at, bro. It went up to the guy's neck. Like, the guy walked around the car, and you couldn't see him initially, because that was how tall it was. And yeah, this is the video we watched. That's apparently a Ford F650. <laughs> I can't see practical... It's basically the size of a tank. It's bigger than the size of a tank. I'm fairly sure if you look at the size of like World War II, it'll be significantly smaller. It's great during a zone. You run out of gas. Loco seen the size of a tank. F650 is definitely bigger, dude. Yes. Those are small tanks. Or at least it was, I assume. Those are small tanks. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but still. I don't know how big tanks are in 2023. I have no idea. This is the largest. Eagle view states, I guess. What the f Sorry, man, but it's really ugly. <laughs> this is no, dude. You can you can drive this with a regular license. You don't need a a like a whatever like a like a truck license or. A wow, up to fourteen and a half thousand pounds. So in the Netherlands, the taxes you pay on cars are dependent on the weight of your car. So this would be incredibly <laughs> expensive <laughs> if just to have it. That's pretty nuts, man. How tall is it? Height? 108 inches. 270. 270? 270? Bro, that door is gonna be at like six foot. Like the, the bottom of the window? That's massive. That's way too big, dude. There's two steps. I don't want to try and drive one. <laughs> I don't know, man. It sounds kind of fun. Let's go on Sacrilege. Thank you for gifting a sub to a trip away for- He definitely did. Bunny Warren just subscribed. Womp womp. Didn't say that. Don't lie to us. No, she didn't. No, I don't believe it. Shy Lily? Shy Lily is life? Everybody's favorite, Shy Lily. She's playing Diablo 4? Okay. That's an excellent idea, chat. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend. Don't forget to smile. <laughs> I'll see you once again on Monday for another stream. Shy Lilith. <laughs> Shy Lilith raid coming up, chat. I know there's a lot of VTubing connoisseurs in the chat. She's playing on the PlayStation or something? Oh no. Shy Lilith. Not on the gaming uh, computer. Hmm.